Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the micro bit to make a volume meter with the LEDs. So a volume meter will show how loud something is. So if something is really quiet, then it's gonna show a very low volume. And if something is louder, it's going to raise up and then it goes back down again. So that's what we're actually going to do with the micro bit. So first thing I want to do is I want to pick my event and um, I'm doing this by the way, all on the stage. You actually don't need a sprite to do this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Although I'm gonna have to zoom out in a minute. Okay, so uh, green flag, when we click, we're going to forever do something. What we're going to forever do is we're going to use a bunch of these if else blocks and we're going to see if our loudness, this thing, is greater than a number. And we'll start with 80, a high number. If our microphone is pretty loud like this, so it's like greater than 80, then we wanna display on our screen that it's full. So we're gonna use this thing and make it full. Okay, but if it's not very loud, we wanna make it a little bit lower. So we can do that. Right click, duplicate this, and say if it's less than, or sorry, greater than 70, then we'll make it a little bit smaller. And so then we just keep repeating this for each number. So like going by tens, uh cool and let me zoom out so i'm gonna keep repeating this so now it's gonna go by 50. if it's in between 50 and 59 then we want it to look like this and then for the next one if it's in between 40 and 49 we're gonna make it look like this and so i keep repeating this until it gets all the way down. Okay, so like that. 30 and 20. If it's 20, we're only gonna show one right here. And then for the very last one, we could either just clear the display. So if there's like no sound, we don't wanna show anything or we could just make it look like this. Okay, so I just added in a bunch of if else blocks inside of if else blocks. And every time, if you notice, I put it inside of the else. So it's saying, if it's greater than 80, do this. Otherwise, if it's greater than 70, but not greater than 80, do this. And it just keeps repeating this for each one of these. Otherwise, if it's not greater than 20, it's gonna show nothing. Okay, so let's ac actually see what this looks like and test it out on our micro bit. All right, so the code is running right now, and you can see that it is changing with my voice. So if I get quieter, then it goes lower. And if I get louder, it starts to get louder. Isn't that cool? So loud sounds make it get big. And smaller sounds make it stay small. Oops, not picking up. Oh, there we go. I'm having too much fun with this. Anyways, I hope you're having just as much fun as I am when you create your own volume meter. Just try not to annoy everyone around you. Good luck. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.